Studio Paint video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can use vector layers and vector brushstroke. Now, first thing to do, just quickly go to layer, new layer, vector layer, click OK. Then go down to one of the tools. I'm just going to use the pen tool in this case. I could use pen tool, but I'm just going to use pen and I'm going to use a mouse. I'm not going to use my up pad, so I'm just, just going to quickly draw that across. Now, you, what you can do with a vector, of course, is that you can actually just select it there and you can just see that it is actually a vector. It's made up of lots and lots of different points in which you can move. You can just go over there and just move those around. Also, you can click on the line there, move it around, rotate it, resize, and so on and so on. So, also, you can change the color as well. So, if you want to decide that you would prefer black at that point, that's it. Now, there's actually some, also some additional tools that can be used, and it's just down here. So you just go there, correct a line. So, got sub tool, and there's a whole range of control point, pinch, simplify, correct, correct line width, etc. Some more useful than others, but I'm just going to quickly go through some of them. So, now, just select that one, and you notice you've got some options here. Brush size, you can modify the brush size, but what I'm going to do, I'm just going to quickly just go over this line. So you just go down there. Now, that doesn't look particularly great. It's actually reduced it near enough to a straight line, which of course, basically was, was more like a straight line that I wanted. So it's done a good job. So now if I go up here and the object, you can actually see, now that's really reduced it down to a nice straight line, which is pretty good. Now actually, if I go, if I'm gonna remove that. If you remove, you want to remove it, just say just normal delete. And it's, you can delete with layer, so you can remove the vector layer, which you just cancel, or leave empty layer. So I'm just going to go for that. You've still got the vector layer now. So that's quite useful. So I'm just going to go to my art pen now, and so I'll just select that. Unfortunately, the uh, mic is in the way as well, so I'm just going to quickly draw a line like that, a curved line this time. Now, what you can do then, just quickly go down to here, and again, if I actually up there, and you can see the points, you've got a lot of points. Go back down to that one, and again, simplify vector line, make certain you've got that selected, brush size, and you can just go over that. Just quickly go, quickly, not particularly accurately there. And now, still keeps us basic shape, but if you go back there, you can actually see, now it's really, it's fairly cleaned up. Well, you can also do, use other ones, so I'm just gonna quickly go down there, redraw vector line that's quite a nice one so you can actually then just go over that and just drag that around there's some options there i don't want that one simplify it actually makes it ends up sort of straight lines if you go for simplify at the extreme so you can just select there move it around there's other options keeping certain points at certain places free both ends and fix both ends now i'm just going to select that now in that case can see what happens you can actually drag that around and it sticks in the same place so that's really what expected there okay so you can just manip completely manipulate it in many different ways very very handy tool to manipulate also you can modify the uh, down here correct line width so you just click that there's a whole range of options you can go say thick and which obviously better than thin because it's quite thin already. So I'm just going to go thick and just over there and you'll just see some subtle change. I'm just going to move that a bit more there. You can see it just increasing as you go around like that. So you can modify the line and much more. Also, you can redraw the line with as well. So I'm just going to select that one and you've got brush size there. And actually this one will make a really radical change so I'm just going to reduce that down a bit say 13 so just go over there and you can see you can create some interesting different line effects just by going over like that right well that's just a quick run through of some of the features of vector lines and using vector layers there's obviously a lot more than that and you can create some really weird and wonderful line designs but this is a basic run through of those if you found this of interest, thank you much.